So, kind of a mood update. Um, the fact that I talked about that I don't have custody of my daughter makes it so much easier to get into everything else. But I have to do it in small pieces, otherwise it's just gonna... It's going to get really emotional and it's going to get really messy in the video and I have to just do it in like small bites, but the whole time I had such trouble getting a lawyer for years and I'll go into in another video like all the hoops I had to jump through for absolutely nothing and then finally in 2014 when I had gotten my first apartment but I didn't feel like I was quite ready after just like, this was before I had my second daughter, um, after years of pretty much really, after all the family court battles, I was feeling really suicidal again before I had my second child, and having my second child really, she like, like I know kids aren't supposed to be ones that like take care of you, but she really did save my life, like I know that's not, you know, people like, it's not the right reason to have, but she really like was like gave me a reason to live again but anyway in 2014 they finally passed a law um in massachusetts finally passed uh, a law saying that all guardianship matters um parents fighting any kind of guardianship over their children you know the parents will be given a lawyer and i i went from you know it i was i just went years without getting any help and i tried to get help there's plenty of legal aid services but i always fell into this weird criteria again i'll get into it in another video it just it was just retarded because nobody would help me but i'll explain that all after um i finally been given a lawyer i got the paper in a couple days ago and um this is what i've been waiting for I was so excited for years. I just want somebody to talk to about it and just be like, you know, about the details I can't talk about here because for years I, I would like act like I didn't have children because I could not stomach even admitting that I didn't have custody of my first daughter. So I would just pretend like, you know, I would just, I wouldn't talk about the issue. And when I, when it did come out, it was just like horrible word bomb. I couldn't stop talking about it. And like therapy helped, but it didn't help like that much until I finally addressed like i lost my baby like but i can still fight for my child and then when i like admitted that to myself i could just go forward from there and like there was so much i wasn't accepting like the reality that i had to fight this even though i was fighting it for years it just i couldn't and finally dude i finally got a lawyer this is what i've been waiting for and i can't i have i should have called them i just got the paper and like the first day i was like i'm gonna call them and the next day i was like i'm gonna call them and i and i have uh till uh till september i have quite a few months until the next court date but um again i want so badly to just like talk to a spe you know a lawyer because it's so um private about all these very intimate details that i've dealt with over the years and all my concerns because i cannot there's certain things i cannot say on youtube really this is just my personal experience with it i really want to keep a lot of details um you know because obviously these things should be private like you know there's a lot of personal stuff that does not belong on the internet but this is become such a part of my life that I avoided for so long I just I just felt like I owed it to myself to like I don't know it sounds really retarded but like stand before the world naked like I've not done that before but stand before a spirit you know I'm talking like metaphorically here for once <laughs> spiritually stand before the world naked and telling them something so personal like i don't have custody of my daughter and it was just like this is gonna sound really retarded guys but i was so just terrified of saying those words for so many years it was really liberating to say that <laughs> still that darkness sets in <laughs> but but i waited so long to talk to this lawyer and now i can't I'm doing this thing again where I, I can't bring myself to it took so much energy to start this again and to be here to this point it's taken a, a, a large amount of energy 
and magic for me to be able to achieve even filing and, and, and walking back into that court. And now I'm like, okay, you finally have somebody who's, who's not your child's lawyer, is not their lawyer. This is somebody for you. You can talk to this person about anything. And dude, like, I don't know how, I don't, I don't, I'm like, so afraid I'm just going to unload on this person and like, I mean, that's what they're there for, but like, I'm having such a, why am I having such a hard time calling them? This is what I want. Like, this is my lawyer. It's a, it's a woman lawyer too. I don't, I don't know if that should make a difference, but in my experience, I usually tend not to like women professionals like I don't know like if she's if she's got any kind of attitude with me at all I and like I just get like really like if you're gonna be my lawyer you're gonna be mine mine like and the possessiveness and the controllingness that I something I never used to have before has just come out and it's just oh my god it's it's it's, it's out of control my my controlling behavior and my narcissism and my possessiveness is, is I'm having a, a, a hell of a time trying to get control of it. I, I really, I'm uh, embodying this possessive be uh, energy and behavior uh, that I've, I've, that's learned behavior from not only my mother, but my, my ex-in-laws, the person who currently has a uh, guardianship over my first child. This woman was a very, very, and I'll refer like very, you know, vague terms like that, no names, terms like ex-in-laws. This woman was very, very controlling, very possessive. Um, anybody would tell you that. Even people who liked her, I'm sure, would tell you she's controlling. I'm sure that's good in some situations. Like, it's not that, you know, I'll even say, I, 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 this woman, like, for my children's sake, I don't want to say like I hate her, but I really despise this woman. But even for her, I'll say like these personality traits are not inherently bad. If you're controlling or possessive, like you can channel that and it can be pretty productive. But you gotta be able to like I don't know, not be a piece of shit about it. I've, I yo, I'm a piece of shit sometimes. But this woman, I have to be careful what I say. But this woman is 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 a very possessive controlling woman and like I don't want to call her a piece of shit but like my feelings are very strong and I can't like directly say things like because those could possibly be taken as threats and again I am in the middle of a court battle and I suppose I've been speaking to professionals about this in my vlogging for years so I I'm I know like the lines I have to walk but I gotta tell you I gotta tell you like all I want to do is just call this lawyer and tell them you know very, very personal things and concerns I have, and uh, I've already talked to all the proper people about those concerns related to my child. Like, I've, I've already talked to my child's attorney. Um, I've already spoken, you know, with the court about these concerns. So the court's aware, you know, my child's attorney is aware, but now I finally have the opportunity to talk to somebody who would listen to me, who will actually might listen to me and um work for me and serve me and i'm like i wouldn't say i'm terrified to call them but i just i don't know i feel this like wall like i can't i i and this has happened all these years like every time i get really ahead and i start to do really well i start to feel myself like stall and stop and it's really hard to like stay on a path and the vlogging helps i make weird stuff i know but i guess the point of this video is i'm having a hard time calling my lawyer and, and i don't know why it's like the simplest thing in the world and that's my mood i just want to try to explain last couple of days just got this paper really happy about it first time i had a lawyer through this whole battle and i'm just i'm having a hard time calling him like it's simple. It's simple. Like, it's so simple. Like, I have a hard time calling for pizza, but that's not hard anymore. Like, I, I used to have a hard time, I think, a few years ago. Like, and I've called for pizza, like, a bajillion times, and it just never got easier until after maybe, like, 5,205. <laughs> I don't know, like, how many pizzas I've ordered, but eventually, and, like, really, I've gone through some really tough like difficult things and like sometimes the simplest thing to this day is like 
so it's it's still really hard. It's 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 still very difficult, and I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, how come very complex, complicated, arduous tasks seem just simple to me, but the simplest thing, like picking up a, a phone and dialing this number on this piece of paper that I have right in front of me, that I, and this woman's name I have right in front of me, how come that is so hard for me? Like. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this, but I have to, like, it is so hard for me to stand in these courts and talk to people about this and talk about my worst fears that came true. Like, these aren't concerns, like, that I was like, oh my god, I think, these are nightmares that came true for my family, and it's like, the court's like, oh yeah, that happened. All right, all right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep looking into it, like, but no, 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 we know that happened, like, thanks. Thanks. I'm so glad that, like, so many families out there, again, I don't, I don't, like, this is for me. I don't, I don't know you. I don't care about you. I care about you as a person, but I'm not trying to, like, it's cool if we relate. If you can relate to me, that's, that's great, but I really, I'm a really selfish person. If you're gonna write me a huge story about your life story, I might, I might read it, but it would take me a couple weeks, so please don't, like, think I'm trying to be like, oh, if there's anybody out there, listen, this is for me, but I do think about how many families must have been destroyed, and, like, we're not even talking about DCF, we're just talking about the best interest of the child, like, in family courts, how many families have been destroyed and kids have been harmed under the best interest of the child like oh no no the, being over here is in the best interest of the child horrible things end up happening and suddenly concerns they had for the first family the child was in that never actually came or might have like teetered on like any concerns were greatly outweighed by actual nightmares like that's what i'm feeling like right now like the last eight nine years of my life have been my child has her life has been altered in ways that I can't go into, right? I can't go into, but my child's not, never going to get certain things back. And I, I, I'm never going to get those years back for all time. You know, I can literally say my life has, has, has been severely altered and, and damaged um, over concerns that were not founded, and, uh, actual nightmares happened to my child, and that's, like, as far as I can go, like, I'll probably say that 50,000 more times, because that's just as close as I can get to tell you, like, how bad, again, I don't think it, like, people are like, why are you putting on here, then, I don't think it belongs on YouTube, but it's, it's up to everybody if, if they want their story out there, so I have to just tell you from my perspective, and yes, it is, it's necessary for me to explain this because for years I like people would kind of learn what was happening with me but they didn't they didn't know and like I always thought like what do people think what and it, it doesn't matter like I sit here and I say I know it doesn't matter but for, it does eat away at you until like I'm at a point where I pretty much almost don't care what people think right now but for years I did I did and it ate away at me like what people possibly thought like and I'm not the perfect parent yo but like I want to raise hell for what you did.